I love new woke Bay Jimmy Kimmel. I don't know about him having Spicer on his show, but this is a rare moment when an old school Hollywood guy gets very honest about the grim realities of how DC politics impacts real lives, tying it back to his personal experience with one of the authors of the latest Republican effort to rip health care away from poor people. Politician, a senator named Bill Cassidy from Louisiana, was on my show and he wasn't very honest. Oh, you don't say, Jimmy. A politician went on national television and, and lied? To your face? How surprising. Also, this is what that shameless Frankenstein's monster lookalike said this morning about Kimmel's monologue. I'm sorry he does not understand. Under Graham Cassidy, Hiller Johnson, more people will have coverage, and we protect those with pre-existing conditions. Wrong. But I'll let Jimmy explain exactly how wrong, since apparently Jimmy Kimmel understands the consequences better than the person who wrote this fucking bill. Coverage for all? No. In fact, it'll kick about 30 million Americans off insurance. Because it ends Medicaid expansion and tax credits, which would mean 15 million Americans losing their health insurance next year. Pre-existing conditions? Nope. If the bill passes, individual states can let insurance companies charge you more if you have a pre-existing condition. If you have asthma, you could pay more than $4,000 each year. If you're pregnant, $17,000 more. And if you have cancer, all the way up to $144,000 more. But will it lower premiums? Well, in fact, for lots of people, the bill will result in higher premiums. This bill would raise costs by 20% or more each year for the same coverage. If you're over 50, you could pay as much much as five times more for the same coverage. And as far as no lifetime caps go, the states can decide on that too, which means there will be lifetime caps in many states. On top of that, Graham Cassidy will also allow insurance to not cover things like pregnancy, newborn care, birth control, prescription drugs, mental health services, rehab programs, they're all subject to be cut. And if anyone ever tells you that this is about states' rights or bringing power back to states, also know that this is a load of bullshit. Because the bill will have an amendment that would bar states from using any of these funds to pay for a single system. Graham Cassidy is as much about states' rights as it is about giving Americans affordable health care. But yeah, Republicans are the pro-life party, right? A fetus without a heartbeat is a life that needs to be protected. But as soon as it's out in the world, that fucker better sign up for work if he or she wants proper health care. Pick yourself up by your bootstraps, baby. So why are Republicans being so cruel? Well, Kimmel and I agree on this, and if you've been listening to me for some time now, you already know the answer. You just trust them to take care of you, but they're not taking care of you. They're taking care of the people who give them money, like insurance companies. Exactly. That and providing tax cuts for the wealthy are the main reasons why Republicans are once again gearing up to take health care away from millions of Americans as they switch over to the existing health care system into block grants for the next couple of years that will eventually turn into nothing. The health care arena of the free market, where you have to fight for your life. Literally. The entire idea of repeal and replace is based on the premise that Obamacare is dead. It's this trumpeted response, it's this trumpeted talking point that is largely untrue, but with a caveat. It could be true if Trump wishes it so. And he repeatedly threatens to cut federal funding, the one part of the ACA he actually controls. But I want to leave this on a positive note. The healthcare debate is a perfect representation of why America is so amazing, and also why it's totally fucked. It's fucked because it seems like we have to call in every two weeks to our reps and be like, hey, it's me again. Can you please make sure I don't die or get crippled by insane amounts of debt just because you felt like giving a tax cut to the wealthy or because you simply wanted to destroy Obama's legacy? But America's also great because those calls are actually heard. And even if it takes a crazy old Navy pilot with a whopping brain tumor to go back and forth on his decision, in the end, these repeal efforts can be nullified. And lucky for us, this is the one last big fight we have to put up before the reconciliation window ends in September 30th and the GOP is forced to put up legislation that appeals to Democrats because a simple majority won't work. So keep calling those senators and telling them if they put party lines over your lives, you will make those fuckers pay the ultimate price. Politically speaking, that is. I'm Hassan Piker. Please share this video with your friends if you want to stop Graham Cassidy from ever passing in the Senate. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Hassan D. Piker and on Twitter at Hassan the Hun. And this has been The Breakdown.